was snoring. Oh, sorry, mate. It's all right. You should hear me dad. He's like a road grill. Nice fly up, Ash. Put the lining back on your stomach. Oh, no, thanks. Just a piece of dry bread for me. My dad says you're in big trouble, he misses. Don't remind me. Go on, then. Finish them off. Good lad. That's it. Right. Come on, Josh. Go and clean your teeth. Where's Dad? He's gone to work. Teeth. I am. Um, take it you two still haven't sorted out your little domestic. Affairs of the heart can be very tricky business. My mum and dad didn't speak for five years. Five years? Yeah. They'd only communicate through those plastic letters on the fridge. Other than that, alphabet is spaghetti. Anyway, don't worry. He'll probably turn up later. Sheep is green, big bunch of flowers. Mm, I doubt it. Talking of which, what's your feelings on blousy flowers? Blousy? Yeah, you know, like big books and blooms, bright colours. I think that sounds perfect. I can't set foot on an aircraft me without having something to suck on. Tenor even tech. Don't forget to bring me back a kiss me quick hat. No, that's more your blackpool style -y kind of thing. Well, Canary Islands, it's like Blackpool, but with the sun. Anyway, you'll enjoy it. <laughs> See you later. Come on, babe. That tap's on the blink. Will you have a look at it? I'm the brains of this operation. I would advise you to get on the phone to a man with a stanner. Oh, there's a busted water mains on Rosamond Street. Bloke said it's going to take the best part of a day to fix it. In fact, mm. I'll get a couple of bottles of water. Very bad for you getting dehydrated. Oh, yes, very bad. Uh, maybe you should have three bottles. Uh, no, four. No, no, two's fine. Okay. Do you know, I read in a magazine that over half the human body is made up of water. Oh. That's a weird thought. Yeah. Wouldn't it be funny if you had one eye made of eye and the other eye made of water? Yeah, hilarious. No, I don't, I don't suppose it really works like that. Listen to you. You have the mind of a philosopher and the face of an angel. <laughs> Four pounds, 40 pence. Thank you very much. I can't believe that register office is all booked up, Shawnee. Eh? <laughs> I really fancy being a summer bride, you know? Bit of a bronzy with some flowers in the air. Oh, I don't know where there's flowers, there's bees. You know, I'm going to get stunned to death on your big day. Mm, I bet it'll pour down. Dress will be soaked out like a rat's nest. Do you know, the state of this place, it stinks. Can we not get some shaken back on it? Yeah, I need some. It's totally rank, man. Do you know, sometimes I think about taking a flamethrower to this pub and going off to live in the countryside in a nice barn conversion. <laughs> You're wading through cow pats? I don't think so. Hey, I'd wade throughout me to find my lonely goat herd. Oh, I so love that film. Ooh, with any luck, that might be him now. Oh, yeah. Be still my beating heart. <gasps> Lay up, mate. Come in. Hi. Sorry. Uh, Lay up, lay up, loo. Right, we'll go through to back. That's right, you leave me to scrape the stubborn stains off the bonquet. Hey, 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 it's my day off. I only do it a bit in it so willing like. Done an hand. I'm a dab hand with a dust of me. You're right. Hey! <laughs> oh, hope you don't mind me helping myself to a bicky. It's been ten years since I had a party ring. Where's Claire? Dropping Josh off and then going shopping. And why aren't you at work? You're lucky. She doesn't seem a type to blow three grand on a handbag out of spite. I said! Yeah, I know, but Claire did say last night, you know, about me doing the garden. Graham, just get yourself to the shop now. I'm the boss and go and do what I pay you for. If I get a move on, I might just catch Claire outside the school. Sometimes hangs outside chatting to the other mums. Mate, 
I'd give her a bit of space, you know? She's really don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah. Oh, thanks, love. I'd say it's a right pain, this water situation. If I don't have my cuppa on the hour, every hour, I get right tetchy. Oh, I'm the same. I had to go in hospital last year for a little uh, operation. <laughs> Woke up with a terrible headache because I hadn't had my daily quota. Mug of tea? And how much right as rain? The Indian nation runs on chai. Strong and sweet with cardamom and cloves. Uh, that's sacrilege where I come from. Sugar and a splash of milk and that's your lot. <laughs> how much are you for this? £1.40. Thanking you very much. Uh, bye. Try, love. Bye. How much? £1.40. You work in a pub, can they not spare your bottle of water? Don't be ridiculous. This comes from a tropical rainforest, hand filtered through a virgin sarong. And the stuff in the rovers probably comes from a tap in Salford. <laughs> One foot you are. Thank you. You've doubled the price, Dad's gonna go mad. It's all about supply and demand, my girl. Your father wouldn't know good business practice if it bit him on the backside. All right, mate. Don't look so worried. I'm not going to ask you to kiss me goodbye. I just wanted to say thanks for that extra cash. It'll come in really handy, that. Well, you work hard, mate. You deserve it. Oh, I'm going to feel like a proper honeymoon, this, innit, babe? Can't wait, can we? No. Never know. Might squeeze in an extra few uh, no pyjama nights. <laughs> Don't forget your wet wipes, love. You never know when you might need them. Come on, get a move on. A plane won't wait for you. It's not like catching a flaming bus, you know. All right. Come See you later. Good up. Yeah. Ta -da. Ta -da. Hey. I feel a bit strange having the house to myself again. I feel as if uh, I should be doing something a bit naughty. Ooh, what? Like, uh, read the biscuit tin? <laughs> uh, somewhere <laughs> on them lines, are we? <laughs> well, we could go to the park and take a picnic. Ah, uh, no, I don't think I'd settle, you see me. My little Scarlet doesn't come home. Oh, dear. Hmm. Do you think we could go to your house and see if she's gone back there again? I mean, she did seem to take a shine, didn't she? I know. Oh, come on. I'm not as green as I'm cabbage looking. There is something you're not telling me, isn't there? Am I right or am I right? Oh, there's no flies on you. Come on, get your coat on. What's the matter, Norris? You're walking like you've... What? Oh, nothing, sorry. No, no. Go on. I'm all agog. I'm walking like I've what? Well, you know, like... I've been taken short. I've got a bunion, if you must know. You'll be in your twilight years one day, you know, and who knows what indignities him up there's got lined up for you. I'm sorry, I was just saying. We're all of us ticking time bombs, aren't we? Tick, tick, tick. Aye, aye. Still in the doghouse, are you? She must have bolted the flaming door. Raising the bed, don't call the shots now. Come on, Clem. It really doesn't fade. How long do you think she's going to keep this up? Falling out with your wife's spectator sport now, is it? Sorry. Oh, God, this is gaff. Well, that's you told. That'll teach Daddy not to be so selfish, won't it, Freddy? <laughs> if he thinks I'm ironing these, I should put itching powder in them. So him right. Oh! Oh!
wonder why you just don't get a hammock and I've done with it. You know, you, you were making the right racket up there in your flat. I thought you'd taken up clog dancing. Apparently, these are the latest thing. Research in outer space by astronauts with onions. Uh, well, I hope they're not some sort of infantile joke because I'm not in the mood. I've just got you a new pair of shoes. Uh, I didn't expect you to whoop for joy, but you could be a bit more gracious. Mm. Mm. Try this one. Ah, 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 ah. Oh. Oh, I say. <laughs> They'll do them, will they? Oh. oh, Rita, thank you very much. I, 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 it's bliss, I'm in heaven. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Why don't I do that for you? You're all right. Only, you're putting all your bad vibes into the meat. Food should be prepared with love. Any time you went on your break? All right, boys. Now then. All right, here you go. Three black coffees and some ponzi. Pan au chocolat. What is it, choco pan? I never know. Here you go. I taste the business either way. Cheers, mate. So, take it you and your missus still aren't made up then? Oh, she's a stubborn so and so at the best of times, but honestly, this lady strop it's off the scale. She's locked me out of my own house, she won't pick up my calls. In my experience, you should let them stew in their own juices like a nice piece of steak. And your longest relationship, well, just remind me, was what? Four week? Three. And it's the quality that counts, not the quantity. Listen, Ash, you've done enough grovelling. I mean, come on, what more can you do? Bet you can fit one of them in my mouth all in one go. Come on, mate, don't fret. If she wants to carry on like that, Better just get on with it. Yeah, what the hell? Stuff her. What's up, Mama? So what is it with you and Steve? How do you mean? I can't work out what you're seeing him. He's like an old bloke in his stay press slacks and his sad Valduna Kincardis. Vald... Is that that bird what works in Bingo Hall on Casey Street? You're a... Ch he doesn't even have any cardies, so... You know, show up you. What's he gonna do when he comes back home and he finds me here? No! I am still my own person, you know. He ain't gonna stop me having mate. What's that thing they do to pets? Stick a microchip in him, that's it. Bet he'd like to do that to you. You know no about him. And then if you stray, he'll be able to track you down. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not going to stray, am I? So you like it, then? All this domestic stuff, no excitement, same thing every day. I've got a really nice life. Thank you very much. Nice. Says it all. Out here for. Show us how the other half live. This is it. This is what you, you're talking in riddles, girl. My house. Shazam! Come on. <gasps> she might be dead upset. Not ready to face anyone. Well, she can come in here and be upset. Doesn't stop her doing her job. You're all heart, you. Why can't you do the switch? You're only hanging around like a bad smell. But you know very well we're two drivers down. Well, it's one thing to have a strop with your husband. That's what he's there for. But this is not on. Hi, Claire. It's Eileen. Hate to trouble you. It's just that you should have been work. Oh, 25? No, 26 minutes ago. Sorry if you're having a drama with Ashley. It's just that it's not fair to drop the rest of us in it. So, um, slop some lippy on, slap a smile on your face and come in and do the job that you paid for. All right, bye. What? You never told me you won the pills. Down to pure graft, all this. Well, you told me you, you were a washerwoman. Well, I was. Owned a laundrette in Middleton, then one in Salford, 
Business went like topsy. You're a funny and I'll give you that. But fancy keep his stum about all this and then telling me that you, you're living with your sister. Well, I do most of the time. I don't like rattling around here all on my own. Our pat's got a lovely little terrace and it's much more me. Right. So are you going to give me a bit of a nose here? What, or do, you, do you want me to go round the back tradesman's entrance? <laughs> Get in. Get you all domesticated. Oh, don't. I promised Betty I'd have a go. Moochie's in at the moment. <laughs> Look a bit crusty though, these. Do you reckon that's dead? Who am I? Alan Titchmarsh? Mm. Anyway, why are you planting loads of little turnips? The bulbs, you div. To turn into flowers. Well, this isn't you, Bex. It's like you stepped into someone else's life, someone dull and boring. Um, excuse me. You're hardly an international man of mystery yourself. Oh, for... I've gone and planted flaming things upside down, haven't I? <laughs> I've told her this is shopping Wilmslow. Oh, get you. Shopping with a Cheshire set. Well, it's just I've got a one-day sale on today and I can get a £50 dress for £9.99. All right. What's for Steve's wedding? If I can't get it, I'll have to go in a bin bag. Is that what you want? Be a bit sweaty, wouldn't it? And besides, I don't think the whole punk thing's appropriate for a wedding. You know what? Enough is enough. I am off. Oh, you can't just abandon ship. Oh, do you want a bet? Oh, please, give her another ring. Get her, please. Pretty please. Oh. And be nice to her. Tell her it's OK if she can't make it. We just need to know either way. Mm. Why are we waiting? Why? I'll nip round, give her a knock. Mm. Oh, you know, these new shoes have really shown my bunion who's boss. <laughs> I could dance a merry jig. <laughs> oh, look at you. You could put Fred Astaire to shame. <laughs> Aren't you the wag? <laughs> if he's Fred Astaire, does that make me Ginger Rogers? Only in your dreams. So, Ramsay, are you going to join us in the cafe for a spot of lunch later? Emily said she'd pop in. It's lovely. Mm. Oh, yes, yes, he likes his little harem around him, don't you? Ram by name, ram by nature, if he had his way. Oh, new shoes, Morris. They look a bit pricey for your tastes. Oh, well, actually, uh, they were a gift from Rita. Oh, how thoughtful. I do my best. Oh, Norris must be so grateful to have a wonderful, generous friend like you. All right, don't overdo it. <laughs> Claire, it's me, Lloyd! Claire, I, I don't want to hassle you, babe. I just want to check everything's all right. Claire! I think we were scared of life, you and me. Yeah, that's why we sort of opted out. We just did our own thing. There's now up with that. We thought we were better than everybody else. Anyone who led a decent, ordinary life. Who's put all this stuff in your head? Bet it's that pair of do-gooders from down the corner. Oi, don't you destroy an alien. The top they are. And you know, I admit it. Right, when I first met him, I was out for what I could get, but... the saw something in me. Some are good. And that felt amazing. Even more amazing, they loved me for who I was. Me. Oh, it's dead sad that, really, isn't it? But oh, I can't believe it. 
And what's so great about that? I loved you for who you were. <sighs> That's why it got to me when I saw you and Fatboy in the paper all over each other. Shut up! You say you never forget your first love. And I haven't. I've never loved anybody as much as I love you. Yeah, 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 now. Come on, don't be daft. I still want you, Bex. I want you back. <sighs> don't worry, kid. You just play with your toys, all right? Mummy will be better in a minute. Claire? Claire? Ambulance, please. At 13 Coronation Street. Young woman. Claire Peacock. I don't know. I, I've just found her. She's unconscious. Or maybe worse. Can you please hurry? And Coronation Street continues in half an hour. <laughs>